Well, it is 17 hours and 33 minutes into the 20th day of uh, February um, 2021. Uh, I am just shifting position from uh, getting up from uh, uh, the sleep world. And I seem to be in a uh, sort of a lull where the events are really not really anything to be noted or significant at this point in time. It's either I'm missing something in terms of uh, my appreciation for what what's going on in the dreams or at some point in time, it, it, you know, it's just simply not, it's not, uh, how do I explain this now? This is where it gets a little complicated. In the, in the library of Gnosis, the library of knowledge, at some point in time, once you get further, far enough in, experiences become part of your library. And there are some experiences that you'll put in your library and you'll never touch. They're just the experiences that you have and uh, that's the way it is. And you had that experience and the experience is now over and it's on to the next one. All the experiences almost immediately present themselves as being significant. Uh, something useful, something that uh, definitely needs to be worked on. But at the same time, uh, there are experiences that, that are put on the shelf that go by and you won't pick them up again for another couple of years. You don't know if or when you're going to use some of these experiences, particularly ones that have no particular uh, immediate significance to them. Just because something doesn't present itself immediately as being significant doesn't necessarily mean that it's not significant. It just means that you haven't understood, you haven't seen the significance, and right now it's just sort of shit sitting there on the shelf. Uh, and some of the people, well, why don't you just, you know, you know they, they, talk, they talk about, you know, getting rid of your negative experiences. Getting rid of your negative feelings. Well, the problem is, is you can't necessarily get rid of them. Uh, people who, who get rid of these ex experiences and feelings often get rid of some things that could be very important in terms of understanding where they are and where they're going in terms of the spiritual path. But again, if you don't care about being on a spiritual path, you want to live life for now, then the spiritual stuff doesn't necessarily matter. And uh, it will be ignored. Uh, a lot of these people like Anthony Robbins, these, these motivational speakers, they're there for the now. Any guru that stands up and says, I'm going to make you happy and talk about make you happy now, they're on the left-hand path. They're on the path of darkness. They're not there in the spiritual, for the spiritual happiness. And this is, this is lost on a lot of people. They think that the, what they're doing now is holi holistic. It is something uh, of spiritual benefit or, 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 you know, that they are being spiritual. And the thing is, they're not. They're being very shallow about this. And what happens is the, 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 the shallow spiritual experiences, the, these gurus, always focus on the surface. They never go below in terms of sort of see. Well, why are you feeling the way you feel? You know, okay, you have a negative feeling. You have... Maybe you've had a negative experience. Well, 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 how do you deal with that emotion? You know, what more is there to this that you, maybe you're not seeing? And it's not about getting angry at it. I mean, angry, okay, yes, it's the most, we have these emotions. But anger, if you look at it carefully enough, is a dark emotion. Same thing with hatred. And there is a reason for it. There's a, a lot of times there is a reason why you're feeling anger. Anger, why you feel, why you have the ha uh, hatred or jealousy, even. There are reasons for this, and sometimes we're not willing or able to confront 
the various issues that are creating the particular uh, uh, feelings. And this is something you have to work around. The, 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 these are th things you have to work on. But if you toss it out and simply ignore it, it doesn't necessarily mean... Sorry about my eyes. It doesn't necessarily mean that that bad or negative experience has gone away, particularly with its impact on the soul. Uh, the damage to the soul has already been done. In many cases, the, the, the self-examination that you do in Gnosis, in meditation, is to help repair the damage that has been done to the soul. And you know, we, as human beings, as we live, we do damage our souls, sometimes in a willing fashion, sometimes these are things that are done to us that damage our soul, And but we say, oh, this is a mental health issue. And they they avoid the soul altogether. Well, if, you're, if this is a mental health issue, then you're not going to get to the core because you're never looking at the soul. The soul is always the core. This is why it's called psychology. Psychology, the, the psyche, psyche, the psyche, psyche means the soul. It means the spirit. It means the 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 part of you that is beyond the, 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 what, what they're calling now the greater consciousness. And this is what Norsey seeks: is seeks the knowledge of the greater of, of the beyond the the individual self, the physical self. However. Because the self is always, in many cases, selfish. There are gurus who will pay, play to this selfishness. They're on the left-hand path, but they'll pretend to be on the right-hand path. They'll pretend to be good. They'll pretend to talk about things. And they say, oh, don't worry, you'll feel good at the end of this. And they're talking about, again, the, the physical aspect of things. And they will use a lot of the mantras, a lot of the statements of the gurus from the right-hand path. They'll use a lot of these statements, and this sounds very good. But what happens, as they wor start working you in this, this, this sort of called massaging the ego, and you start feeling good, this is where you start falling into a trap. The whole purpose of meditation is the struggle itself. The struggle is what you're looking for. If, if, if something eases your struggle, and you're doing a good job at sort of dealing with the issues, then you go look for more struggle. You, you, you go deeper, you go further in. That means you have to move along the path further. And this is sort of the case with, with the dreams. The dreams indicate where the struggle is and where the struggle isn't. And even when there is struggle there, it, that doesn't necessarily mean that it becomes significant. It just simply means you've become used to that struggle and it's part of the environment. And this is sort of the situation that I'm in now. I'm sort of in a lull. I'm in an in-between state uh, where the experiences are neither here nor there. It, it, they don't... They're not, in many cases, noteworthy. They may become later on and I'll have a, a recollection. I'll have a recollection of the dream at some other point later on. I'll realize, oh, that was that. You know, that was that dream particularly. When I do that, sometimes when I'm gaming or sometimes, you know, doing something like that, I have these moments where I'm doing other things and I don't necessarily expect it, and then all of a sudden the thought comes through. But this is how things end up working out. Well, the camera called, the camera app called uh, Open Camera allows me to film in almost pitch darkness. It provides the, uh, Almost a f it, it, this the screen itself becomes white, a translucent white, so I can sort of see the uh, I can see see myself in the image, uh, but it's all whited out. It's all whited out. But I just played it back as I uh, did a test uh, um, shot, and it seemed to work out pretty well in terms of the actual brightness. Uh, anyways, this constitutes a dream journal. It'll be something new that we'll add into uh, uh, the vlog. And I'm sort of uh, recording this. Well, it's a quarter past. It's, yeah, no, it's about 2.30 in the morning. And 
I just had a dream that we sort of need to talk about, and this constitutes a dream journal, if you will. Um, and it's it's the nature of physiology and how physiology works its way into the dream. And it was it has to do with intestinal pain on the right hand side. Uh, but it in the dream it wasn't the intestinal pain, but it rather was a pain in the eye uh, that sort of represented itself. But the eye was miles away, physically was physically miles away from the body, and the pain was the path or the road to the eye. This is how the rep representation came out. Anyways, this works out pretty well. I'm going to be adding this into the vlog for uh, this for for February 21st. Uh, but uh, right now we're on uh, January. Uh, we're, we're editing January's vlog. We're a little bit behind because I've been working on some features on the editing desk and working out some of my uh, some issues on social media. And so there is a further backlog in the actual editing of the vlog. <laughs> so we're now more than a month behind. There's the bus. Well, it is about uh, 12 hours and 30 minutes into the day. of uh, Monday, February 22nd, 2021, and we have two package openings here. We have one here we will open now. We'll get into that. The packages I have been expecting, so I sort of know what they are. But, anyways, Running into tape here. Where's the hard part? I can't find my scissors anywhere, so. Uh, the strength of the hands will have to do. down and over the edge. Okay, we've got that done. Same thing on this side. <laughs> Slowly but surely we get it open. It is going to be a bit of a work. Can't get the tape cut. So we just slide it up and off. And we got it. And there we go. Tape once again. Let's see if we can find a way to break the tape.
There we go. The end. The end of the USB cable worked. It broke the seal. Now these are going to be the same thing. I ordered two of them. So. Open one, and then we have the other. Okay, here we go. Let's open one. It will be the same thing. And since the USB cable worked, once again, because we've got tape sealing everything, sealing everything here. Oh. There's a little bit of a score in it. Ooh, it will break. There you go. Out comes the package. And it is there's the egg maker. This is for boiled eggs. Hard boiled egg. That's one of those egg makers. There you go, there you go. That's what it is. This is one of these egg makers. And it uh self powered. <laughs> so you don't need a stove with this, and you just plug this in. It's almost like, almost like it's in many ways. It's almost like a it's like a miniature hot plate. So you could possibly possibly use it for more than just eggs, uh, in terms of warming things up and heating things up and doing small small meals. That would be good for let's like, say the dormitory stuff like that. Uh, you know, you're just going you're in school. So here's all the stuff. It comes with a wooden spatula. Uh, wooden spatulas are already uh, are better than plastic. Uh, measuring cup, uh, egg strainer, uh, nice, nice tiny metal bowl, bowl. a lid uh, for the hard boiled egg. It should be interesting to see how this works. So that's a yay for that. Those are the instructions. And on to the second package. On to the second package. Let's see what these are. Issue. Let's uh, get through this quicker with the USB, uh, the USB cable, with the USB cable as the scoring device. It's, there we go. Got our opening. And sweatshirts. That's what I ordered. These are sweatshirts, so 
I will be trying these on and seeing how they work, seeing if they fit well enough, uh, and then going from there. So, anyways, uh, I got three of them, and we'll see you guys in a little while.